All right, guys. Welcome back for another segment of The Creatures Decoded. Here's exactly where we left off last episode of Kite Hit Plane Must Steal, or whatever she said. You'll hear it right here. Kite Hit Steal Plane Must. There we go. Kite Hit Steal Plane Must. That right there was the choice of this lady right here, is te the teacher. Uh, her, or actually, I don't, I think this is another teacher, I'm sorry. But regardless, this class's teacher gives them just, just so happens to choose this exact choice of words on 9-11 for these, uh, classmates spelling tests what a coincidence not coincidence it's all done on purpose she was hired they gave her a, a list of words to get to do for the spelling test they put on this little act bush acted like uh you know oh it's no big deal i would just go randomly and read uh, I will I will get a plan organized for me to be able to leave the White House just in case the Pentagon gets hit or anything any you know what I mean like why wasn't he in the White House why was he here anyways let's watch and this is going to have audio this is just a clip, not a song. This is just a clip of 9-11's uh, spelling test. Get ready to read all these words on this page without making a mistake. Look at the letter at the end and remember the sound it makes. I don't even like the look on his face that he just had. Get ready, kite! Yes, kite. There's the first word, kite, and he he immediately smiles. Look at him. To read this word, the fast. He's got like a ready. like a off and on smile. Looks evil to me. Yes. Sound it out. Get ready. Kate. Sound it out. Get ready. Kate. What word? Kate. Yes. Get. Boys and girls, sound this word out. Get ready. Steel. What word? Steel. Yes. Steel. Kite hit steel. Kite plane, same thing. Words the fast way. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. <laughs> get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Let's read these words the fast way without making a mistake. Get ready. Kite. Yes, kite. Get ready. Kick. Yes, kick. Get ready. Steal. Yes, steal. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Or if you go speak the reader up. Right there is where the planes hit. Now notice, watch this. They all, I've never seen kids at the same time pick up all their stuff like that. That's, your seat. Open your that looks like they all just bowed down to President Bush. A lot like it says that they've bowed down to Apollyon, the god. Let's watch that small scene again. Playing, get ready. Must. Yes, must. Or if you go speak your reader up from under your seat. Open. And they all just bowed down to him. And then also, hang on, watch this. Look up to lesson. Right there. Right there, guys. Mission accomplished. Looking is exactly what happened. The buildings are now down, sir. We have destroyed our own temples. For a nation against its own nation is just done for. Scripture. All right. So there you go, guys. 
kite hit playing my steel. They just bowed down. Let's go to 911. Revelation 911. Hmm. Again, with that reasoning for choice of scripture. Psalms 23 and Psalms 46, like we spoke last video, uh, last episode. And they had a king above them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. <laughs> whose name is in, uh, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is a pardon. But in the Greek tongue, hath his name Apollyon. Right there, guys. And they bowed to him. Check it out. Where were we at? Right there. And they all just bowed to him. Right. All right there. All of them. Slowly. See what I mean? They all bowed. Anyways, there's that. And remember, Bush was the one that read Psalms 23 on that same day. Alright, Revelation 9. Uh, we're going to get into the exposing a little bit of the pictorial stuff of the exposing the creature. Right here, golden altar, the whole, first off, the whole entire chapter of Revelation 9, if you read it, and you understand it, and you get what it's talking about when it says that he was given the key to the bottomless pit, and you know that locations match of the key and all that kind of stuff and what the golden altar is let me show you the golden altar here is the exposing of the creature just like we talked about that this whole segment is going to be based off of here's your golden altar and here is a testicle here is a testicle here is a penis phallic symbol here is an eye, here is an eye, here is an ear, he has a crown of gold like we talked upon his head, and then here is another ear. What you're looking at here is the face of a sheep. Alright guys, now the thing is, is if you pull an Isaiah 29, and you turn it upside down, this becomes the female reproductive system. Okay, we've lined it up before. Here's exactly what it looks like. Now just envision that that being a female reproductive system because that's what it is. Here is the birthing system right here. Let's put it that way. That's the polite way of saying it. Now also the thing is, is once you turn it upside down, what was symbolic for a man's penis or the serpent in the garden with Eve which corrupted the bloodline and all of these are falling angels because once Eve gave in and took of his fruits from his tree the bloodline was corrupted and then here's how you know who's that came from look at that guys there is an eye there is another eye here's the snout here's the mouth these are the horns you're looking at the devil okay revelation 9 guys all right we can go out of 9 11 because we've already known that they bowed down to Apollyon and all that. Let's get down to 
now that you guys know about the golden altar, I will show you guys where the key is. Hang on just a moment. All right, guys, here's who in Revelation 9, it says holds the key to the bottomless pit. The serpent does. Here's the keyhole. Okay. Now we're going to go through these fast. So you just saw the serpent with the crown of gold on his head. Complete with a fort tongue. This is a governmental building. We don't really care about that. I'll show you the rest of it really quick. And then again, here's the keyhole. It gave Peter the key. Matt and Matthew. He gave Peter the key. And then here's Peter, St. Peter, St. Peter's. That chair is a giant Peter. Okay, it's Satan's Peter. I'm just being, that's why they did it. I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, some of you laugh, some of you were like, why is he saying Peter? That's his name. That's why. Saint Peter. Satan. Peter. Satan. Get behind me. Pe uh, get behind me, Satan. He said to Peter. We've been over that. Alright, so St. Peter's, St. Peter's, this is St. Peter's, Vatican, alright, and the whole thing is the giant key, you were probably wondering, well there's the keyhole, but he said that he holds the key, well there's the whole key, the snake is, the, the whole snake is the entire key, now here's what you're looking at at the tail end of it, okay, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five. Five corners. That's all we were counting. You were like, why didn't he say six? But one, two, three, four, five. A five pointed star upside down makes a pentagram. Okay, we all know that. Now, here's the nose. Here's the nose. Here's the middle half of the snout, like upper bone face area here's where your the sheep's eye would be here's where the other sheep's eye would be and then down right here in this shifting shadows area that's how they hide they shift their shadows just like it says in scripture that's the that's a whole sheep face that's why you got like that little outline right there there's this little nose and snout mouth area and it builds up and so you get the picture. Now here's it outlined. All right, you see what I mean? That's all of what I just said. And even this little shifting shadows, negative space, even that negative space makes up the sticking out the tongue. The Those who mock me will stick out their tongue. You see that space? Like here's garden, here's some more garden, and then there's a random space. That's the tongue, right there. The lower half of the goat's face is that. It's all coded, guys. It's all math. I love it, though. It's easy once you have the eyes of God. Here's the building next to it, if you, know, if you guys noticed. It's right here. This building right here. I just randomly, I was looking at it from this view, and I randomly noticed. And I was like, wait, what? Check it, guys. That's an alien peeking out from uh, up top of the building. Here's an eye, and we'll end it at this one. Here's an eye. Here's an eye. Here's the forehead area, and it's just that whole walk, that whole front door walk-in area makes the face of the and then the shifting in the shadows, the negative space, makes the alien's eyes. And it's peeking up, looking at you. Anyways, they're always watching, but you should always watch them watch you. Because you should always stay aware and never be ignorant of the devil's devices. See you again soon.